Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the ScumVM tool. Now, ScumVM is a program which allows you to run certain classic graphical point and click adventure games. Games such as Monkey Island, Day of the Tentacle and many more other classic adventure game titles. Now you can download the program from scumvm.org and I've just go to the download page here. Just click on this big download scumvm button and that gets you the Windows installer and that will download directly from SourceForge. And once it's downloaded you just open it and install it like a regular program. Okay I'm going to cancel that because I've already installed it and here it is on my start menu. So I'll start it up. Now ScumVM isn't very useful unless you've got some games to play with it so we'll need a compatible game. If I go over to File Explorer here and in my E drive I've got the Monkey Island Madness compilation. Now this is part of the LucasArts archive set and has got Monkey Island 1 and 2 on it. So I'll just do Monkey Island 1 for this example. Now if I double click this, it actually launches a CD-ROM menu. Now I don't want that. Um, you don't install the games through the usual installer with ScumVM. So I'll exit back to Windows and I'll right click and choose open. Okay, and I want Monkey Island 1, which is in this Monkey 1 subfolder. Now what I do is I select all these files, then choose copy, and I'm going to copy these over to my D drive, just simply because I've got more room there. And I'm going to put them in games, scum VM, and I'll make a new folder. Monkey Island. I'll open that up and then choose paste. Okay and they are copied over. Right so I have my data files so back in ScumVM now I go to add game. Now I simply need to browse to this folder so if I go right up to the top that would be in my case D games ScumVM Monkey Island. Now you don't have to install them in a ScumVM subfolder, you can put them in any folder you like really. And now I'll click on choose and the program's recognized it as Secrets of Monkey Island so that's correct and it's English and it's DOS. There's some advanced options you can set as well but we'll just leave those as the default. You can come back later and edit the game if you want to change these. Okay so now we've got the game on our list of games here and I'll just show you some options that we can set before we start. Click on options. Now there's the graphics mode setting which affects how the graphics are drawn on your screen. I'll just show you what I mean. Now you can see here on this page you can see an example of each of the different filters and how it affects the graphics. Now personally I'm not a fan of these filters that kind of give this oil painting effect so I'm just going to stick with the two times graphics filter. And you can also put ScumVM into full screen mode which I normally would do but for this example I'm just going to leave it windowed because it's easier to record. Okay, right, so we'll start the game. Now we get this message saying the game has audio tracks on its disc. Now these are audio tracks that would play on a normal CD player. Lots of old games use this method to add audio tracks into the game. And what you need to do is extract these tracks using an appropriate tool. Um, we'll show that in the next video. For now I'll just click on OK and the game starts up. To skip introductions press the escape key
and we're into the game. And if everything's working correctly, you should see your actions down here. And you're basically ready to start playing, apart from needing those CD files. While you are playing, if you press the F5 key, you can save and load your progress and access some options too. And also quit scum VM. Okay, that concludes our first tutorial, and in the next tutorial we'll look at how to rip the CD audio tracks.